But anyways, yeah. So since the first traumatizing experience I had, I took a break from like going out and I was like super, yo, I don't know who this person is and you're wrong, completely wrong, but go off. Anyways, um, hold on guys. Yeah, so basically I just had a few like experiences that were just super traumatizing, which led me to have anxiety and just, you know, I didn't go out for some time in certain places, in certain situations, I'd be a bit shaken um, to go there or whatever. And I'm very like, I'm very aware of my surroundings. And then I had another situation actually at like a haunted house, like Halloween event thing. It's just super scary. And it really just traumatizes and shakes you up, especially since my biggest fear is like death. And I'm very, very, I'm one of those girls who's very aware of her surroundings. And like, I don't just jump in anybody's car and I don't just go to the gas station at 3 a.m. And I don't just go to these random clubs and go to these random people's houses and do, you know, a guy hits me up and I'm, he's like, hey, come on. Like, I don't do stuff like that. I've never been that type of person my whole life. I've been very aware and I've never gone myself, thank God, in any situation that was like, you know, but it's just it's scary especially you know because you you see what happens on the news and on tv and then when it happens to you or in your surrounding it's a very very scary um thing and unfortunately it's a thing that happens in a, everywhere and just mainly america like someone just commented and it's definitely like i used to be a girl who was super full of life and i would go out like at like 3 a.m like as, as, as like 16 and like doing all these things and like whatever whatever and like now the past like two and a half years since the first incident happened the past two and a half years i've completely changed i was never a crazy like party girl like who would get drunk and like do no i was never like that but yeah i just i'm very like i used to go to like these places like it was nothing i just i guess i could say like i would just go to places with like a very like innocent clear mind and now i walk into a place or a room or into my car outside with the thought of like being like scared and it like sucks but, and it's gotten better over the past, like the past like eight months has definitely gotten better. I don't really have anxiety anymore. Um, and the anxiety started two and a half years ago. So two, two and a half years ago, but yeah, what happened? I'm not reading the comments. Sorry guys. What was I saying? But yeah, thank you guys for all the sweet, nice comments. You know, it's nothing like, I'm not being too serious and like, you know, talking about it because it's just one of those things where you can't live your life in risk and it's just, you know, so I can go deeper into the topic, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just, someone asked me about the Barbie movie and I just had a bad experience, so I didn't end up finishing it. But honestly, I really, really enjoyed the beginning of it, so I'd like to finish it, just not at the movie theater. You're so beautiful. Thank you so much. But yeah, guys, I'm going to battle some people right now. And yeah, I don't really speak about that type of stuff on social media. That's the whole point of why I wanted to do like the podcast and like YouTube videos and stuff like that because um, I just want to like be more my raw true self and like people can really, really relate to me and I can relate to other people. And I feel like a lot of people on social media are not relatable because they try to keep this like perfect persona and I'm one of those people that do that and I'm like not this perfect person I like struggle with many things and you know stuff like that and I know like I wish I had a me in my life so I try to be that for other people and like you know a lot of people come in my live and they ask me for advice and I constantly am like talking and talking and talking and I'm just I've helped a lot of people from what they've told me in my life and you know I just I'm just I just like to be like that you know so yeah but bro whoever d is you're funny and yeah you struggle with telling us your lash style is crazy sis like for real i don't have a lash style they're just strip lashes i don't really know what to tell you but i love your hair thank you gracie i think we all struggle for sure for sure everybody struggles and i think a lot of people don't realize that no matter what you look like, where you're from, what you have physically, mentally, financially, I think we all struggle. And I think in the world we live in, everything is like super unrealistic and there's certain standards that are unrealistic. And it definitely like makes us, puts us in like a bubble in a box that like we have to like fit in, but like you don't have to be like that at all. So I think it's definitely okay to struggle and everybody struggles, we just don't really show it. And yeah. Hey, those are beautiful people just saying, oh, for sure. 
For sure. I've had haters my whole life and honestly, it just feeds my ego and my confidence, but that's just always been me because I know my worth and I know who I am. And like, if I were them, I'd hate me too kind of situation. So you're wearing hair extensions. No, my hair is hundred percent real. I agree. The standards can definitely take a mental toll for sure. For sure. I never try to compare myself to other people, their lives, their lifestyles, like what they look like. I've never been that type of person. But... Did you grow up in Florida? Yeah, I grew up in Miami. Could you side part your hair once? I don't know, it's never been my thing. What's your ship called? They're from Amazon, I don't know the name, but they're gonna they're in my Amazon storefront, I just don't have it linked. So I'm gonna link it this week. So follow me and I'll let you know when my Amazon storefront is up so you can get them because I genuinely don't know. I've ordered packs of